In this video, we're talking about a Japanese staple that I'm sure everyone should have had in their life at least once, or if not, should have heard of. But we're going to dig a little deeper to see what styles there are and where you can find the best ones in Japan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos as we talk about all kinds of Japanese things. And in doing so, you might have a chance to win one of our monthly prizes. Please check the descriptions for details. Tonkatsu's literal translation is pork cutlet which was introduced to Japan in the Meiji era from European cuisine. The word tonkatsu is broken into two parts with torn meaning pork and a short form of katsuletsu which is the direct vocal adaption of the English word cutlet. Tonkatsu is usually served with rice and shredded cabbage, with tonkatsu sauce. The sauce can differ depending on the style and where it's from. For instance, Nagoya uses a miso-based sauce, while some places use Japanese-style curry sauce. And depending on whether you like crunchy or juicy, there are also thick and thin cuts. A lot of tonkatsu restaurants are popular in that you can top up rice and cabbage at no extra charge. The first restaurant to serve tonkatsu in 1899 is named Rengate, in Ginza, which is still serving customers to this date. The decor of the restaurant has retained its original retro look. There are countless restaurants all across Japan big and small, that specialize in tonkatsu or katsu in general. As well as chains like Katsuya that have spread to other countries. Tonkatsu is also often used in sandwiches which you can find in convenience stores throughout Japan called katsu sando. They are often served with different types of toppings. Making tonkatsu at home is also relatively easy. As long as you choose the correct ingredients and use the correct oil for the correct cooking temperatures, then the results are amazing. 